Welcome to Retro Bassin. It's been a minute. Retro Bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Bass boat making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Hope everybody is having a good day out there in Retro Bassin land. Uh, it is pretty deep in the month of January 2024, and I realized that I have yet to upload a single video since New Year's Eve. So I thought I owed you guys a video and perhaps a little bit of an update on the channel. <sighs> Needless to say, we've been pretty busy with work and life around here. So unfortunately, I have not had a ton of time to get on the water and do fishing, much less film and edit videos. But hopefully this is going to be a little bit of a kickstart for the channel today. So what has been going on with Retro Bassin? Well, if you do subscribe to the channel, no, I did not get shadow banned. In fact, we have been taking a, a little bit of a hiatus from long form video and a couple reasons for that. But probably the biggest one is the fact that we are knee deep in the middle of a move. As some of you might know, we recently moved from Texas to the state of Florida and I'm actually right now in the garage of our rental house. Had to sell the old Texas house first before we could buy here in Florida and we've been kind of in between stuff. It's not necessarily the most ideal as far as living conditions or studio, but we're kind of making do. If you could see what's going on around here, oh my gosh, it is like Home Depot box city. But the good news is we have finally figured out where we're gonna be living in the state of Florida. First off, thank you to all the Bass and Buds who were just so awesome with recommendations both on where to live and also where to fish in the Sunshine State. Since we first moved to Florida, we've been looking all over the place for houses everywhere from the Panhandle down to Sarasota and even over to the Florida Keys. But ultimately, we're gonna be settling in St. Augustine. Hopefully be in the new house in about a month or so and just in time for the Florida Fishing Tackle Show at the World Golf Center in early March. More details to come on that. Super excited to get out of this little transition period here and I've already got my plan set for the new Retro Bass and Studio at the new house. By the way, drop a comment. Let me know if you want me to film the construction of the new Retro Bass and Studio. It is a little 12 by 11 foot office, but I've got some pretty grand plans for that little footprint. Well, being that it's January and a new year, I would like to take a minute to both look back on the past year of Retro Bassin, but also let you guys know some of the stuff we have planned for future episodes. 2023 was a pretty cool year on the channel. Got into a few new things. Probably one of my favorite was a new series we started called History Of. Actually lifted that idea from some of the other channels, non-fishing channels out there that do really good history ofs of different things, whether it's an old school toy or an old school comic. And kind of lifted that format to try to do some more uh, detailed coverage of some old school tackle. I think one of my favorite episodes of that was the history of the banjo minnow that we filmed with the help of the banjo minnow owner and infomercial host, Ken Carey. You know, sometimes I put a lot of work into a video and it doesn't necessarily do well in the algorithm, but occasionally something that I'm both proud of and put a lot of work into also does well and that was the case with that one. That was for a while the top video of the channel. Honestly, in the past couple years, did really well. And I think what really made that whole thing gel was all of the great vintage footage that Ken provided. So huge shout out to Ken for that. And that was definitely a fun one. More of that kind of format to come. During the interview and filming process uh, with Ken, 
he sent me a couple packs of the new banjo minnow and was lucky enough to get those out on Lake Travis with Waylon and Caroline, my two little bass and buds. And as proud of that history of video as I was, I was even more proud of the catch that Waylon made with that banjo minnow. Catching his PB largemouth bass, just that was just such a cool experience and so fun. And it turned out that was actually the number one video of the entire year. So that was pretty cool and hopefully some of that footage will make it into a future Banjo Minnow infomercial. As far as the rest of the year, what else did we do? Well, I kind of am trying to figure out some different ways to engage new subscribers. YouTube is a tough nut to crack and I can't imagine being a new channel starting trying to get any traction at all. In fact, there are some great channels out there. I did an episode on some of the other ones that are kind of smaller channels uh, than mine that I do like to watch. And yeah, it is a struggle for sure to get new subs. So one of the things that I started playing with a little bit in December was YouTube Shorts. I kind of did that for two different reasons. Number one, I wanted to try to reach out to maybe a different uh, demographic of subscriber perhaps reach some of those younger bass and buds out there. And secondarily, as you can tell, there is just so much tackle that I want to talk about. And, you know, even when I'm really singing with the channel, knocking out one or two episodes per week, it's just not enough episodes to really do a full feature on every lure that I want to. Well, I think over the uh, two or three week period in December, we cranked out 17 YouTube shorts. That was a blast kind of a different filming format. Well, long story short, any video that you post on YouTube that is less than 60 seconds automatically gets flagged as a YouTube short. And of course, there's some filming and editing differences as well. But don't worry, the channel is not going to become a short channel. Uh, my passion is definitely long form content. I'm gonna keep doing that. But shorts is a great way to kind of see what lures you guys wanna see more of. And there were a couple of not surprising ones from that, but definitely need an episode on the Roland Martin helicopter lore, hopefully featuring Roland Martin himself. And first and foremost, one of the big ones I need to do is Bill Dance's Dancing Eel or Eelver. I actually just got the phone number of the founder of the Keeper Bait Company who made both the Dance's Eel as well as Sparkle Scales Fish Formula. So stay tuned for that episode coming up, hopefully in the near future. Also wrapping up 2023, I think we gained over 5,000 bass and buds, which was pretty wild. Sometimes, you know, the, the channel ebbs and flows here and there, but yeah, to pick up 5,000 was pretty cool. Getting just over 17,000, I think right around New Year's. As far as what's coming ahead, I do have a few notes that I wrote down of things that I want to accomplish in 2024. I don't know if you want to call them resolutions or goals, but either way, here are some things that I want to do on the channel and kind of drop in a video to hold myself accountable for some of the retro bassin projects. So what do I want to do? I want to fish more and I want to film more. I almost don't want to admit this on film, but since moving to the Sunshine State, I have not actually caught a single Florida strain largemouth bass. We caught some other fish, caught a ton of fish from the beach, caught some bowfin, but I actually have not caught a largemouth bass since moving here. So that is going to be priority number one, and I'm definitely going to bring you guys along on that journey. Uh, what else? Well, you know, I want to continue some of that momentum with my kids. It was really cool getting Waylon and Caroline out there to, we did some, I think, good pan fishing earlier in the year. And of course, Waylon caught some really nice bass on the banjo minnow. I do want to continue uh, to get them involved in fishing. I think they're both at a really good age where they can actually go out, actively fish, not just like with the minnow and bobber. And my goal is to get them on the old retro wagon as much as possible both in fresh water and also in salt water, and I've got some plans for that. Uh, what else do we want to do? Okay, so another one that is coming up. So there is a show. It is the FIATS. I think that stands for the Florida International Antique Tackle Society. And they are doing a tackle show in St. Augustine, which is going to be like 10 minutes from the new house, uh, March 1st to the 3rd. 
A couple years ago, thanks to my buddy Mark Ng, I got to go to a NFL CC national meeting for the first time ever. It had been on my bucket list for a long time, and for whatever reason, I just never was able to get to one. That was an absolute blast. I also got to go to the Savannah Tackle Show uh, late in the year. That was another cool one as well, and there are a few of these tackle shops that pop up, some of them really in striking distance for me. So New Year's resolution is to get to those shows, and actually... Old Retro Bassin is going to have a booth at that show, so I will drop more information ahead of that, but uh, that is definitely going to be a good old time, hanging out, meeting new Bassin buds, seeing some old friends, and definitely doing a little bit of filming. What else do we have? Okay, so the History of Series, I was really happy with that. When it comes to this channel, I do make content that I hope that you guys like, but at the end of the day, I, I'm really kind of making videos for me. Just things that I've thought of, things that I want to capture, and stories that I want to tell. That history of series is a great way to do it, and I've got a few in the hopper that are going to be happening real soon. So history of LNS Mirror Lure, I've been in touch with those folks, I need to make that one happen. I mentioned the history of the Dances Eel slash Keeper Bait Company, stay tuned for that. Next, Cream slash Night Lures out of Tyler, Texas, that's another one I want to do. And last, I'm going to employ the help of my bass and bud, Dave Smith, a.k.a. Stumpjack Outdoors on Instagram. He did a couple of great articles for Bass Fishing Archives, one on Meps Lures and the other on Eppinger Daredevil. And we're going to give the old retro bass and treatment to those two lure companies. You know, I've always wondered whether or not it's a good thing to actually meet your heroes. I think sometimes the images we build up of people in our heads may not match the reality. Well, whether or not uh, it will happen, it is a New Year's goal of mine to meet a couple of my heroes, and I'm going to do my best this year to track down Roland Martin, Bill Dance, and Jimmy Houston. Uh, to me, they are three of the most iconic bass fishermen of all time, and quite frankly, a big inspiration for this channel. So, New Year's goal of mine is to uh, track down some of my heroes and hopefully do it on film. Okay, so here is one that was actually a goal of mine for 2023 and I never actually got around to it. And that is launch the Retro Bass and Tackle online tackle shop. I actually have a rough draft sitting in Wix and I was hoping to launch it last year but just could not get around to it with a number of other projects. And honestly, I kind of want to get my shipping situation a little bit more organized before we go live. But what will you find on the Retro Bass and Tackle Shop? Well, first off, I'm going to be selling merch. I know that you guys have been trying to get merch as of late. And so we've been on a little bit of a hiatus from that. But I will be dropping merch on the uh, website. Also working on some Retro Bass and branded logo lures. Uh, I don't want to leak too much. But let's just say how cool would it be to have an Eppinger Daredevil or a MEP Spinner with a Retro Bass and logo. And likewise, <laughs> we feature a lot of tackle on the channel. And quite frankly, I am not going to have room to store it all in the new house. So it's going to be a chance for me to unload some gear and also share a little bit of the channel experience with you guys. Well, if you don't see that tackle shop go live uh, by the time we get to the new house, light me up in the comment section and definitely uh, hold me accountable for that one because that is a goal that I do want to get off the ground this year. And I think it will be a ton of fun. Oh, and here's the uh, the last goal for Retro Bassin. So I think we started this channel in 2018, early 2019. And we are right now at 17,000 Bassin Buds. It's kind of funny, but there was a time I thought I would have 17,000 subscribers after the first six months. And then there was another time when I thought I would never get there. So I'm so grateful for all of you guys that continue to tune in each and every week that I get off my keister and actually put up a video. But I do want to keep growing the channel. So a goal for me, kind of a stretch goal, is I would love to get the old Retro Bassin channel to 50,000 subscribers before New Year's Eve uh, 2024. Well, I'm sure it is going to take a ton of work and a little bit of luck to hit that milestone by the time the ball drops this New Year's Eve. But, man, there was nothing that I would love to do than be halfway to that YouTube play button by the time we start next year's episodes. 
Well, thanks again, Bass and Buds, for hanging with me. If you happen to know of any good fishing waters in the St. Augustine area, drop a comment and let me know. I've been stalking fish brain pretty hard, finding some different uh, lakes. There's some really good water, I think about an hour and a half from the house, but definitely looking for any suggestions that you guys have. In the meantime, if you're looking for some more old school content, you can click right here. Otherwise, I will do my best to see you back here, same time, same place. Until then, keep the carpet side up, and definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.